Okay. The show must go on. The show must go on. How's everyone doing today? Type it in the chat. So let me know if you're going to be watching this live or if you're watching the replay. And let, let me know where you're tuning in from. Give me just a second. <clears throat> Let's see. Hey, Cousin Gwen, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. I won't be long. Let's see. Facebook hasn't been nice, hasn't been kind to me today at all. So I'm not going to keep you all. Um, I know it's been a few weeks before I've been on, since I've been on. Been very, very busy. Have a lot, lot, lot going on. A lot to show everyone. I have some more paintings that are coming out. I have one that is out for 3000 right now. And I have, um, of course, I'm coming out with really soon. Hello, how are you? And I also, I'm a student now, back in school, going for my degree in marketing. So I have a lot, lot going on. So, um, yeah, so if you see me and it seems like I've been off of Facebook for a while or it seems like I'm here and there, just know I'm still here, still doing a lot of work and behind the scenes, still looking for more uh, people who want to use this platform to just talk about whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be about your business. Yeah, we say we're the small business network because we are, but at the end of the day, the platform at the end of the day the platform we have and that we you know we're using it's all for you you know you can use it to tell talk about whatever you know just reach out to me you can reach out to Dr. James you can reach out to Sean my CEO and partner so um yeah so contact us Roosevelt Russell Glennis Reed Spencer Bell Helen Clewis you know it's so many of us Tina Kong Shakita Lewis and new we have our new co-host Miss Yolanda Williams I mean it's so many of us and we all are so willing to help you put your word out there whatever that may be you know and if it's your business you want to talk about that we you know we want you we want you to use this platform you know it's so many people that watches and you know you can get it out there um in addition to that we have radio we have the radio show we have tv shows we have tv networks that you know you can get your content put onto. you know the list kind of goes on and on and on and on of the resources that we have at our disposal to help everyone out um not in addition to you know toasting canvases where I do paint parties where I I'll still do them if you're local you know we can talk um, I'll start back up doing them you know um, I'm coming out with my life coaching course um, as some of you do know but many of you don't know I am a certified therapeutic art life coach as well as a certified cognitive behavioral therapy coach and I have combined the two into one course that I am putting out there. Um, it's called the Pioneering Parent. No, I'm not just going to be targeting parents. And it's not that, you know, just parents are the ones who can um, use it or, you know, that can go through my course. But I call it the Pioneering Parent because I was once that person. I was once that person, you know. And I can probably relate more to parents um, that have gone through a lot of that, I've, you know, what I've gone through. You know, it's geared towards setting goals and finding your dream again and reaching for those dreams. Um, my dream <laughs> upon graduating high, high school was to be an FBI profiler and to study in Quantico. And that's really what I was reaching for. I did. I put myself, I started taking uh, 
chemistry. My my major in college was chemistry, and then I went on when I moved away out of state. I went on to take forensic courses. Um, so, but as a parent of two children at the time, um, when I came back to Louisiana. I actually was trying to get a job at the coroner's office and I was pregnant with my third child and um, a lot of the chemicals I would have been working with they felt was unsafe for me in that environment so I had to sit out and it kind of put a damper into my you know my dream and what I wanted to do so I kind of feel like every time you looked around different things was happening and you know I couldn't do what I wanted to do and I you know, I eventually neglected my dream of being an FBI profiler. I'm not upset about it anymore, you know, as time progressed and as things kept going on and life brings me to where I am today. I think I'm happier now doing what I'm doing now than I probably would have been because I think in many ways I probably would have felt like I was neglecting my children because of the time I would have been away. You know, I spent 13 years as a stay-at-home mother um, to my children before I got back into the workforce. Um, I've been back in the workforce for, it's about five years now, but everything I've done, I've been an independent contractor. Um, I do independent contract work, some for Chevron, some for Texaco, um, and a slew of other companies. Uh, that's what I do when I feel like it, so to speak, because I am an independent contractor. Um, and I also work for myself as an artist, as uh, an entrepreneur or a mompreneur, because I do work from home, um, with my art businesses. Uh, and now I'm adding to that uh, a life coach, therapeutic art life coach and cognitive behavior life coach. Um, in addition to these things, um, with you know with the pioneering parent I, I'm I'm incorporating more books more journals which some of you already know I have journals um, on Amazon also they can be purchased directly through me um, I have you know more coming out they will some will be in alignment with my course some will just be you know independent uh, Oh goodness. And I have some more art I'm putting out. Uh, Maria, M, M I I R I Y A. Right now you can find my newest work, uh, which is cost, it costs the 3000 right now. This is my newest uh, art work I put out, and I have a slew of other things to come. So, yeah, let's be looking out for that. So. Yeah, I just wanted to get on here. My guest, my special guest that I had on the flyer, uh, we had trouble with Facebook getting her on, and then she had gotten a call, so she had to step away. So we're going to reschedule her for another day, but I am so excited to have her. Um, she's a true inspiration, and I cannot wait to have her, you know, inspire many of you with her story. But in the meantime, you know, I just wanted to come on and show my face. It's been a while. Um, as I stated before, use this platform. If you have something you want to talk about, you want to share, you want to get it out there, you're not sure how, inbox me. Let me know. You know, I'm Chrissy, K-R-I-S-S-Y, Redding, R-E-D-D-I-N-G, on Facebook. On Instagram, it's Chrissy Vanity, because Chrissy Vanity is my pen name. Chrissy, K-R-I-S-S-Y, Vanity, V-A-N-I-T-Y, 85. And on TikTok, you can find me. I think it's Chrissy Redding 337. If not, I'll double check and I'll put it in the comment section. But just go ahead. Get in touch with me. I have partners. If I can't help you, I have other people that I can, you know, get on board to help you. So... Y'all, have a good evening. Thank you.